Okay, the first thing I'm doing this morning is I'm running up to my local USDA FSA office and I am signing up for my program. You get to choose between ARC Individual, ARC County, or PLC. I'm gonna go with ARC County. This is what I did last year. I've done ARC Individual before. Um, I've heard a few people signing up for PLC just because prices are so all over the place. Um, but the ARC County, it kind of helps if you have low bushels and low price, whereas PLC is just for like low price, but it does have like the possibility to pay more. Um, but I don't know. I'm going with Art County now. This payment didn't pay last year at all or anything. So, um, honestly, it's better if it doesn't pay because that means things are going good in the market. So, I'm going to go sign up for that. I have until March 15th to do it, but I've been doing my, my research on it and I just want to get it signed and, and over with. Okay, so stuff up at the USDA office went good. Uh, turns out if you like change your mind, you can uh, switch before March 15th. I don't think I'm gonna change my mind, but it's good to know. Um, I'm gonna go burn some things. So I'm gonna take the uh, stickers off of my new cohorts. These came in on Saturday. They were not supposed to come until Wednesday. So this is fantastic on the timing there. Um, I'm sure I don't have any other stickers or tags. I am so relieved that they fit just because it would have been a hassle to ship them back and try something new. And I feel like these are actually, these are like a tighter fit than my last ones, which just felt like a little bulky. So I'm hoping that since these are kind of tighter, it'll feel like less weight on me, if that makes sense. Oh, this afternoon, I, I have the truck plugged in, warming up. Um, this afternoon, we are going to try to heat up the unload and get corn flowing out of the side draw because I need to haul corn. So that's the game plan today. I need to change my shoes still. It is 28 degrees. We are going to attempt to unfreeze the side draw. Maybe got it at least started uh, almost immediately. So I'm going to grab a truck. Water came out. Corn is not coming out very smoothly. It, usually, if the side draw is running normal, we can get it unloaded in 15, five minutes. <laughs> in five minutes, and now I'm thinking it's 15 minutes per load. So there it has to be like something stuck up in there or something that falls in a blockage, which is annoying, but whatever. Drive was not too bad unloading now. first time was fine. You actually have to back off the scales too. Um, there's just so much construction around here, but it's going fine. It's good to, I don't know, it gives me a slight challenge for the day. Good day. It's Tuesday morning. I slept horribly last night. Um, I woke. I was like tossing and turning. I woke up at two and just had to like walk around the house because I felt like I was having a little bit of a panic attack. Um, I've just been stressed with the markets and I need a haul and the weather has just been not on my side. Um, a lot of plans have been like rearranged and rescheduled and moved all around. So it's like, I can't be efficient in my days with hauling because I have all these other things I need to do throughout the day, which is like just frustrating. Um, 
But this morning I'm doing a podcast with um, a guy named Ben. It's the Rural Media Podcast. He's out of the UK. Um, so I don't know. I figured it'd be nice to to talk to someone across the pond. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to try to haul. Um, schools were closed today because it's icy out. But um, the temperature looks like it's going to go up at least a few degrees here this morning. Okay, testing. One, two, one, two. So, I would love to know the statistics of like how long I've waited before going to dump where they have a red light and then I have to wait for it to turn to green. Like it has to be collectively hours, right? Okay, third load of the day. Last load, the trucks, the two trucks ahead of me, um, the unloader quit while they were dumping. So we had her stand around and uh, talk, wait for 15, 20 minutes before they get good could get things running again. Uh, that was interesting. Usually when things break at our shop, it takes a lot longer than 15, 20 minutes to get going again. So that held me up a little bit. And then cheer practice today, we tried to reschedule it for this afternoon, just couldn't get things put together. So no cheer. So I will be hauling the rest of the afternoon, which is, is kind of nice. I'll get, get to keep going on. Why are, my words are not wording today very well. Okay, I'm gonna take one more load. Stopped in the office to make myself some hot chocolate. just so uneven. I thought it, maybe I had low air pressure in one of my tires, but I think it was just the road. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Tomorrow I have two meetings for annoying times. One's at like nine and one's at two something. So I might see if JD's interested in hauling tomorrow and have him do some of that. Um, I have another guy that I could have hauled to. Um, I'm just a little wary just because Poet's really confusing right now with all the construction. I don't want him to be confused and not know what to do. And I like doing it myself too. I like being alone and listening to podcasts all day long. So, oh. okay. One of the flaw designs on our shop is that this faces this way, and so we always get this clump of snow up here. So you have to get it off so it doesn't have pressure and so it doesn't fall on anyone. That's like my third time doing it today. It kind of just like slowly falls off in chunks. Okay, it is Wednesday morning. It is a rainy morning out there. Um, JD's gonna come, he's gonna haul for some of the day because I have some meetings I need to get to. Um, and then I have so many emails to send and people to respond to. I can tell that companies have their new budgets for uh, working with content creators going into this year because I've just been getting like so many pitches in the last couple of weeks. Um, most of them not good pitches. Was <laughs> I? I'm very particular on who I work with because I want to work with companies that I either like use their product or would be willing to pay full price to buy their product. Like it has to be something that like truly aligns with me. And the pitches I have been getting have been crazy. Um, and like like a pitch I got yesterday, they didn't even tell me what their brand was. They didn't even tell me what they were selling. They just wanted to know my rates and without giving me any context. And then this morning I got one. Um, saying that they'd pay me in exchange for one garden hose, which I don't need a garden hose. 
Um, but I don't know. It's funny. It's always, it's always interesting watching those pitches come in, seeing that kind of side of thing that I'm kind of new to. Got five loads in today. I do not have time to take another one. So I'm going to load it up and put her away for the day. Okay, it is another foggy morning out. I'm going to take my time um, hauling my first load just because it is really crappy out. I really don't want to have an accident or something. Um, also, I think I have an ear infection. Uh, my ear has been bugging me for like weeks. Um, I used to get uh, ear infections all the time as a kid. Um, then I had like tubes in my ears or whatever. I really haven't had one in a long time, but like... I, I I know what this is. I just don't want to come to terms with it. Like, I'm going to have to do something about it because it's not going to go away on its own. Load. I waited in line for an hour. I think this will probably be an hour and 15, hour, hour 20, I would guess, for this load. But it is what it is. Currently, isn't raining, but still pretty foggy out today. Currently taking my shoes off. I hauled three loads today. Just lines were bad, so I just did not get much done. I need to be at the school soon for cheerleading practice. So I did not load the semi, depending on what time I get back tonight. I might load it tonight. I was just like having it ready to go for in the morning. Um, but before I go to cheer, I need to run into town and get, uh, I think it's amoxicillin. I did a telehealth appointment uh, via my cell phone in line at the elevator. I got that prescription sent my way, so perks of modern technology, I guess, there, so. And it, it's like 50 degrees here, it's 50 degrees. I can't believe how warm it is. I had my windows down because it was so hot in my cab. The wind is blowing in a bad direction, which means we need to spray the windows off after we load it. I also didn't have a towel in my truck, so I used a hat to clean my windows last time. Not a good idea, so I have a towel in there now. 